and and i'm going to weave it here what is the direction of t is the thickness of slab mu is a refractive index what about mu 1 surrounding air surrounding medium is air so what is it where do this flower will appear this flower will appear near the i should show dotted one oh no the flower should be a dotted one this is the real this is the image what well, i what is the shift shift is in this direction how much the shift is equal to the shift what you calculate will be t into 1 minus 1 by mu okay getting and what is the direction of shift direction of incident ray sir we are not understanding suppose a ray will go here after refraction it will bend then then finally Are you getting now? So finally, this is the image. Huh? This is a real flower. This was the image of the flower. In what direction the shift? In the direction of incidence. So uh, th this is a thing. Uh, sir, what happens if I have a virtual object? It's a real flower. Huh? Real object. I'll write better. It'll be easy for you. Real object. Here, what do we get? Image, virtual. Uh, now it can happen like this also no virtual object i'll bring it we know uh, what do you mean by virtual object like this so the rays appear <coughs> this is a virtual object the rays wants to converge at that point so but after refraction so this is the incident ray here it will undergo refraction the ray is moving from denser rarer to denser should bend towards normal should bend towards normal and then the ray is moving from denser to rarer should bend away from normal so finally the ray i have at least this one the the sim similar approach we can have here one line one line should come here okay then okay. Okay, now now uh, see clearly. Now what is the direction? This is a ray refraction will occur again. One more refraction. Finally, the image is here. What is this? This O. What you have is a virtual. Eh? Please, all of you, make notice. The incident ray wants to converge at these points. 
okay fine so as this is the a plus and this is a so what do you expect now the ray moving from right to denser will bend towards normal again ray moving from denser to should bend away from normal finally they'll converge at this point now what is this object o o was virtual huh? virtual object what about i i is a real image again in what direction the shift you are seeing the shift away. is in the direction of incident ray so what is the conclusion whether it's a real or virtual object the shift will be in the direction of incident ray very simple direction of incident ray now if you are here it will appear nearer if you are here so uh, i don't think so you should be here a uh, virtual object so i think virtual object physical virtual object not possible already we have discussed here the rays which wants to converge here will converge at this point so the shift will be in the direction of incident ray what is the basic idea if a slab is kept in a medium whose refractive index is less than that of the slab then the shift will be in the direction of incident ray okay you see either is a real or virtual object So what is the conclusion we have to make it? And what about the uh, shift? How to calculate? Just take help of the same formula. Shift equal to thickness of slab by one minus one by refractive index of the glass slab. If surrounding medium is there, then bring that one. Hope hope everyone getting. So what is the conclusion? We'll make it here. the conclusions are like this sir. if a slab is placed in a medium this that of its refractive index then shift will be in the direction of incident ray whether it's a real or virtual object uh, i'm making things clear whether it's a real or virtual object the shift will be in the direction of incident ray okay and now sir what happens if refractive index of medium more than that of slab it can happen no? next condition we'll discuss now i will bring a medium okay this is some some liquid we'll assume no huh? we'll assume some liquid let there be a slab now clearly look at the Uh, now this is the object now this is the refractive index of glass this is a liquid let me write mu g mu n this is a liquid this is a glass so mu and less than mu g i'll i'll write simple in this way denser this error okay what will happen to the shift according to the formula thickness of slab 1 minus surrounding medium mu l by mu g what do you expect shift so let mu l equal to 1.8 i'll write mu g equal to 1.5 here only we'll get it no 
thickness negative shift centimeter. 10 centimeters so 10 1 minus 1.8 0 0.3 by anybody value minus 2 minus minus 2 minus 2 centimeter what do you mean by negative shift will be opposite the shift will be opposite so th these are the things which you have to remember sir how how it will happen uh, shift opposite means <laughs> opposite incident the final image will be here the shift will be opposite the reason is because the slab is placed in a medium whose refractive is greater than that of its own so you go for ray diagram again it will go here it is moving from denser to rarer so it should bend away from normal then it is moving from rare to denser should bend towards normal so when you extend will be virtual but shift will be opposite so what is the conclusion now if a slab is placed in a medium whose refractive index is greater than that of its its own then the shift will be opposite to incident rate. I think these are very important conditions. Sir. Just you can't just apply the formula. You have to check who is rarer, who is denser. Let me bring this condition here. If a slab is placed medium, medium of refractiveness greater than greater than of its refractive index should be than of its refractive then shift will be opposite to incident rate will be opposite to direction of incident okay i think this is uh, very crucial such things is what student has to oppose it